Tranmere have got the former Aston Villa defender Sean Teal in defence and the man that everyone's watching in attack, teenage striker Ian Moore. Commentator is John Helm. By Tate. Ooh, not bad ball either, Hunt with the header. Oh, what a miss here, surely. Oh, well, how did Westmore not score his first goal in English football there? Miraculous escape for Tramir Rovers after this horrendous mistake in defence. The ball was flicked on by Hunt, and then as McGreal ducked under it, it really confused his own goalkeeper. And it's Tony Thomas who gets his body in the way. But what were McGreal and Coyne thinking about here? The ball flicked on by Hunt, and then all of a sudden he seems to change his mind. That would have been one of those embarrassing what happened next. That's the decent ball, and here comes Aldridge. Chance now, and he knocked it back. And more shot, whipped in quickly, just goes over the top of that Birmingham crossbar. Nice little link up between Aldridge and Moore, though. Sorcerer and the Apprentice here combining well. Little knock back from Aldridge and Moore's very close. A bit too high when you look at it from that angle. He's neatly laid back into his path though. Just got under it. That's a good turn by Tate. Hunt to Claridge. And with his sock to roll down as he does, he's so distinctive. Wood. Johnson into it, here's Rushfeld, and Rushfeld, what a goal! Sidney Rushfeld signals his arrival in English football with a terrific header. He missed the chance in the first half, and you can see the delight on his face, and what about the look on Barry Fry's face? To be fair, Rushfeld had a pretty awful first 45 minutes. He could do nothing right. And then in the first the first few minutes of the second half, he gets on to the end of that cross. A simple nod of the head, and the ball beats Danny Coyne into the Trambian net. Birmingham have the lead from their new Norwegian international. Castle ball to Claridge. Looks as though that one might go out, but Claridge has worked effortlessly on Birmingham's behalf, and he's teed one up here, and Hunt might score. Good save. Very good save by Danny Coyne. That's the sort of stop that goalkeepers thrive on. They work hard in training. He might have got a, a deflection. Claridge working hard. Hunt coming in on it, gets a clean strike, and that's an excellent stop. has had good control over this game and hasn't had to make any bookings but what he's having to do is send Lee Dame, Liam Daish off he's got a cut off to the blood bin and they'll patch him up and send him back on I've no doubt the battle-hardened warrior Turns very distinctively. Only as far as McGreal. And he stretches to keep the ball in. He played it to Charlery, and Birmingham can counter here. They'll do this with Hunt. Claridge into the area goes Hunt. He's on the end of it, and down he goes. No foul. But they well just the been caught, it was a, the slightest of connections but again Mr Lynch was in good position and he was very positive, let's have a look Claridge who knocks it in uh, I don't think there was any contact really fouled by Johnson so Tranmere will have one last assault a free kick for them Nevin still Pat Nevin across it comes here's the chance for Tranmere it's a goal, right on the whistle. It's no good protesting. As Birmingham's defence do, the master puncture, John Aldridge, 
carries the tie surely into extra time now. Glorious ball from Pat Nevin that sets it up. The header in, perfect for Aldridge. No complaint surely about offside, he couldn't possibly be. And right on the final whistle, I'm sure, Aldridge has scored for Tramia Rivers and kept them alive. So 1-1 one, one then after 90 minutes, we rejoin the match now in the first period of extra time. Claridge, he left his socks off. And he goes, whips the ball in. Oh, great save! Fabulous save from, Ch from Charler is headed by Danny Coyne. Claridge did so well to pull that one across. Charler got the angle absolutely right. And Coyne got the save absolutely right. It really was the two old stages who rescued Tramway though, Pat Nevin and John Aldridge, with a considerable assist from the youngster Ian Moore. A great header from him to set up Aldridge. Nevin. Now they can really attack. It's still Pat Nevin here, and he'll go for the shot. That's one of the greatest moments of the night. Deserved a goal. Wonderful strike from Pat Nevin, just clipping the angle. That's a little lucky to get the ball in the first place, but from that moment on, it was masterful. Deserved a goal. Well, they don't care, those Tramia fans singing, because uh, they thought they were going to be rather gloomy a few minutes ago. Those of them who have left the ground and are down in the local now don't know what they're missing. Birmingham's throw. And here is Charlery. And again he's got the ball in for Clare. Oh, two. It's Charlery. And it's that combination of Claridge and Charlery that pays off for Barry Fry again. Well, all the hugging goes on on the Birmingham bench and they think they've done the job again but all credit really here to Steve Claridge who finds the space around the grill to pull the ball back and it presents Charlery with the opening he accepts and he's just hoping that ball would run through to him instead of making something happen now he might he's the chance to play the one in here for Nevin what did that come off and why didn't that go in says John Aldridge uh, can Tramway come any closer to a second equaliser? Lifted in by Thomas, rested down by Jones, tucked back for Nevin. The keeper made the first stop, Aldridge sliced it wide. Skillful piece of play, and it's now Brennan to make progress. Here's Jeb Brennan. Oh, how unlucky can you be? Twice Bennett's been beaten, twice they've smacked the uprights. And Jed Brannan cannot believe this. He's only got one goal this season. It came in the Coca-Cola Cup. That deserved to be a second for him. And John King looks rather quieter. Just five minutes left. Birmingham leading 2-1. Claridge on the ball. And he's kidded uh, McGreal here. Still here, Claridge. Otto now plays in the ball, and here's a third goal. And number three for Birmingham, number two for Charlery, and surely now they've done enough. Otto's inch-perfect cross. Ken Charlery's measured header, and it's past Danny Coyne, and Tramier are on their way out, and Birmingham are on their way through. Mr Lynch decides that's it. Barry Fry's boys go through. The course from the manager for a job well done. Ken Charlery, the hero of the night, with two extra time goals after John Aldridge had hauled Tramia back into the tide just before the 90th minute. In the end, though, Liam Bish and Birmingham were too strong, and they are the ones who go through to the next round after a final score at Panton Park. The Tramia Rovers won, Birmingham City three. <laughs>